Most people think that mutual funds can give you returns between 15 to 20 percent every year. Why the hell would you invest in NPS that can only give you 8 to 12 percent annual returns? By the end of this video, I will convince you that NPS is far better option than mutual fund. You will save lakhs of rupees. And I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos. What I'm going to cover in this video, no one else has covered. If you like this video, press the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. With that, let's get this video started. What you see on my screen is a calculator that I've built. Please do not worry. I'm going to simplify everything in just a few minutes. In this calculator, we are going to compare how much of returns NPS are going to give you versus all other mutual fund categories, right? So first thing is, let us assume that your current age is, let us say you are 30 years old and you want to get retirement at, at the age of 60. So meaning that you are going to invest your money for the next 30 years. And let us say your aim is that at the age of 60, you want to have one crore rupees with you. Now this number could be anything. I will leave this calculator in the links and you can change your numbers, right? But for simplicity, I've assumed that one crore rupees is what you want to make at the end of 60 years. First thing is how much return NPS is likely to give you in the next 30 years. Now that will depend on the scheme that you select in NPS. Very quickly, I will tell you that if you look at my screen, if you go to NPS website, you will see there are a bunch of schemes when it comes to NPS. Since we are investing our money for the next 30 years, I would highly recommend you to select scheme E. E means equity. That means that your money will get invested in stocks. Now you might say, Rahul, stocks are really, really risky. I don't want to do it. Please understand that if you're investing your money for 30 years, the risk of you losing money reduces very, very massively and you're going to get really, really good returns, right? Now you will come back and say that Rahul, you have assumed here that you are going to get 12.40% return every year. Where, how have you arrived at this number? What I want to show you is the returns that NPS scheme has, scheme E has generated in the last few years. Have a look at this scheme, which is January 2023 data. And you will see that since inception, all these funds that you see on the top has given you between 10% to 14% return every year, right? If you look at the benchmark performance in the last 10 years, the scheme has given you 12.40% return annually. Please remember that NPS scheme E invest up to 75% money in the equity or the stocks. That's why the returns you will generate will be huge, right? So if we come back and assume that we are going to generate 12.40% return every year, then after 30 years, you will get one crore rupees, right? For this, you have to start investing 2,500 rupees every month for the next 30 years in the NPS account. So you will end up spending every year roughly 30,000, which is not a lot, right? What you will see is that at the end of 30 years, when you are at the age of 60, you would have invested total 9 lakh 32,000 rupees, but you would have got 90 lakh rupees of capital gain or the profit. This is the power of investing for long term, right? 9 lakhs investment, you are going to get 90 lakh rupees, right? And the beauty of N NPS investment is that when you come to withdraw this money at the age of 60, the rules are like this. You can withdraw 60% of this money without paying any capital gain tax, zero tax, right? Which is beautiful. The remaining 40%, you will have to leave it in a pension scheme that will start to give you monthly pension from the age of 60. When you start to get that pension every month in your account, you will have to pay income tax on that. But I'm assuming that since you have retired at the age of 60, your overall income will be low and you will not need to pay any income tax on that. So if you want, you can plan it in such a way that your income that you're going to get will be absolutely tax free. If you don't want to withdraw this money, leave this invested up to the age of 70, right? So that you don't need to pay any tax on it, right? The beauty of NPS is that you're not likely to pay any tax. Therefore, you are going to save at least 90 lakh rupees when it comes to NPS investments. Let us now have a look at other mutual fund categories. So let us say if you are falling under old tax regime, you must consider investing your money in mutual funds in ELSS only because that's how the comparison will happen between ELSS and NPS because NPS will give you 1.5 lakh rupees of tax deduction on your salary under section ATC. Likewise, ELSS in the old tax regime, you will be able to take benefit of 1.5 lakh rupees of income tax saving on your salary or your income, right? 
So if you look at ELSS category, ELSS no doubt is going to give you far better returns than NPS any day, right? So if I show you that in the last 10 years, if you look at the equity ELSS category, you can see here the last 10 years, you've got 15.49% annual returns, right? So I have put that 15.49% in here, in here. And what you will see here is that everything remains same 30 years, one crore rupees, you are only going to pay 1200 rupees every month rather than 2500 rupees per month. Almost half of the money is what you need to invest. And that's really great news, right? You will only pay 15,000 rupees every year. But please note that when you come to capital gain, in this example, you are going to gain more than NPS. So you're going to gain 95 lakh rupees, which is again great. So far, so good. All rosy story. But when it comes to capital gain tax, please know that in the category of ELSS, when you withdraw this money, you will have to pay at the current prevailing rates, you will have to pay 10% capital gain tax, right? So on 95 lakh rupees, you will have to pay 10% capital gain, right? It is 9.5 lakh rupees that you will have to pay out of this 95 lakh rupees, right? So your net gain will be 85 lakh rupees something, okay? Now, if you compare that with NPS, you are losing almost 5 lakh rupees here, right? This is the story with the ELSS mutual fund category. But let us say you are in the new tax regime and you do not want to do ELSS and you are more smart guy and you will say that I will invest in large cap, mid cap, even smarter people will say small cap. Why not? Because 30 years period, the risk reduces massively, right? Why would I not invest, right? Okay, okay, absolutely fine. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to now show you this chart here, what you will see. In the last few years, if you look at the returns between large cap, mid cap and small cap, this is data, this data is from January 2023. You will see that in the last 20 years, if you see large cap is given 14.4% annual returns. Mid cap has given 16% better than large cap as well as small cap that has only given 14.2%. If I put these percentage returns in here, the story doesn't change much. What you will see still is that because of the 10% capital gain, you will lose a lot of money. You are still better off, far, far better off when it comes to NPS. Now, if you're a more smart person, you will say, you know what, in large cap, mid cap, small cap, the expense ratio is roughly 1%. So you are losing a lot of money. Just invest in a Nifty B's ETF because their expense ratio is only 0.05%. You can get more returns. Okay, that, that argument is valid. Let me now have a look at the Nippon Nifty B's ETF that we can have a look. And what you will see here that in the last uh, many years, if you see since inception, Nifty uh, Nippon India ETF has given roughly annually 15.74% return, right? So if you put this number here, again, the story is not going to change a lot. You are going to get slightly better than other returns, but it is still 86 lakhs. You're still losing roughly 4 lakh rupees here, right? The same is the story with UTI Nifty 50 index fund, one of the best index funds out there. You're only going to get 12.19%. If you go ahead and have a look at this data here, for example, Nifty, let us say all time return, if you look, 12.9% is what you're going to get. I've put that number in here. And again, you are going to, in this case, in fact, lose a lot of money. It is only 81 lakh rupees versus 90 lakh rupees of uh, capital gain. Now you might say, Rahul, is that all? Well, picture abhi baki hai mere dost, because if you look at second part of the story, which is that in the case of NPS, there is an additional income tax deduction that you are likely to get as per the current rates. So under section 80 CCD 1B, you get up to 50,000 rupees of additional income tax saving on the income that you are getting, right? So let us say your income tax lab is 10%. That means you are going to save 5,000 rupees every year on that 50,000 salary. Likewise, 20% bracket, 10,000 rupees every year. 30%, you are going to save 15,000 rupees every year. Now, this money over 30 years is what we need to think about, right? If you invest this money every year religiously and generate 15% returns, right, every year on this, which is not too hard, you can invest this money either in NPS or stock market or mutual fund. This is your saving, right? So if you invest this money, you are going to generate if you are in 10% bracket, you are going to generate 3,31,000 over 30 years, 20% bracket, 6 lakhs, and 30% bracket, you are going to save another 9,93,000 rupees, almost 10 lakh rupees, right? If you add it up with the benefit that you've got from NPS in terms of capital gain, what we will see is three types of outcomes. If you're under 10% bracket, right, you are going to gain, as compared to ELSS, 
8 lakh rupees more right if you are planning for 1 crore which is again too low you know as per me from a retirement money perspective but if you are 30% bracket you are going to save 14 lakh rupees as compared to ELSS mutual fund and if you look at the nifty index fund you are going to get under 30% 90 lakh rupees of saving as compared to the nifty index fund in case of NPS how cool is that this is the calculation we need we all need to do now also I want to say one crore is this the enough money no of course not let us say you want to say Rahul I want to try and see this calculation for five crore let me change it to five crore and see what happens when you change your corpus to five crore rupees because in the next 30 years one crore might not be enough for you because of inflation right so you can change this number and you will see the results as compared to ELSS now you are going to save 33 lakh rupees if you're under 30 percent bracket and as compared to nifty index fund you are going to save roughly 57 lakhs more so far if you're liking this video please press the like button it will mean a lot to me and it will motivate me to make more videos also if you would like this calculator please drop in comments calculator and i'll be happy to share this calculator with you i want to quickly make few more important points now please listen to them very very carefully point number one is that many people will say that rahul in case of mutual funds um, in case of emergencies i can withdraw all of my money but in case of nps my money is locked for long period of time please remember there is a reason for your money to be locked because this money is for your retirement you shouldn't be touching this money anyways if you have an emergency please think about building an emergency fund i've created a separate video about emergency fund on my youtube channel please go ahead and watch it the purpose of emergency fund and retirement fund is very different don't mix it up this is where we get things wrong right emergency is a separate thing retirement is a separate thing both have different objectives right point number two that i want to make is people say that what happens if i want to retire at let us say 50 of the age or 45 not 60 absolutely fine i am going to share with you the faqs which are on nps trust website i will also link it here you can download it and there is a bunch of questions that i can't cover in this video but if you want to get retirement before the age of 60 it is possible in that case what is likely to happen is as per the current uh, rules you are going to get 20 percent of your money back lump sum and the remaining 80 percent you will start to get your pension where is the problem in that Point number three that I want to make is some people say that, okay, if I need to partially withdraw this money, what is the provision? Is there anything else? Very quickly, again, if you go to NPS website, you will see that you can withdraw up to 25% of this money um, in few three or four uh, goes, right? Uh, before you retire. So again, there is some provision that government has given or the NPS regulate, regulator has given you. It is not all doom and gloom. Please make sure you are locking this money for retirement because that is the whole purpose of this money. Let me know in comments how did you find this video and any space or room for my improvement. Also any topics that you would like me to make videos on please let, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video press the like button subscribe for my upcoming videos. I will see you in my next video. Keep rocking.